In this screencast presentation, I'm going to be showing you how you can create a simple elevation diagram using PowerPoint as an editing tool. For most of this um, presentation, we'll be using the insert shapes and icons function. You can use hotkeys if you know those, but I'll just be using mouse clicks. So elevations are often used um, as a way of showing things like basic architectural features of a, um, of a building or a cityscape. Um, it's a two-dimensional representation, simplified representation of the front of a building. So in this presentation, I'll be mirroring the elevation that I created in the accompanying um, how-to video on drawing an elevation by hand. So here I've used three different uh, rectangular polygons, and that's so that I can treat them differently in terms of things like fill, color, because they're gonna be representing different um, architectural finishes in terms of render color. So I want to be able to um, treat them as three separate polygon shapes rather than one block. As with the um, other simple diagrams we've been creating in this series, accuracy in terms of everything being accurately to scale is not so important as kind of the um, relative spaces and the kind of representation of, uh, of relative spaces on the elevation of the building. So don't worry too much about um, being absolutely precise in terms of the uh, scale of all the different elements. That's not really what's important about an elevation diagram. So now I'm just going to start adding the windows into these buildings using the same function here. So again, to save yourself a little bit of time, you can do things like copy and paste. But when you do paste, make sure you paste as a um, destination theme rather than as a picture, because that means you can keep on manipulating those shapes. Whereas if you copy them as a picture, they are less flexible in terms of editing their shapes. So you can see I'm starting to put in these windows and there's a kind of common theme to the layout of the windows, which is you know, three um, on the upper floors where it's residential. We have uh, sort of patterns of three repeating windows. As you can see, they get slightly shorter as you move up the building which is an important uh, architectural feature so you can see that now i've added um, this repeat pattern so just copy and pasting the different shapes uh, adding some lines to show the um, bit more detail around the design of the windows and other things that you can do in um, powerpoint as an editing tool is you can insert icons so there's a large range of icons and these can be useful for um, things like rather than having to sort of write the names of different cafes or facilities we could include one of these to show that this one is a cafe you can also in the shape section there are call out boxes which allow you to add text boxes to annotate different features so you could use this one to say a bit more about the uh, finishing of the building or identify something like the repeated window pattern using a call out um, box. This is also um, the mechanism for adding some more um, academic annotation by including maybe some academic references, citations in those text boxes. So again, you can spend some more time with this, playing around with the different functionality of PowerPoint as an editing tool. There's lots of different colours, shapes, symbols, lines, uh, little icons, possibilities of adding text boxes. 
um, this isn't a real quote, this is just one I've shown you for the format. Um, once you have completed your uh, elevation diagram in this way, then you obviously save it. But you can also then use the snipping tool, um, which I will show you uh, how to, to do in another accompanying video. But if you basically open the snipping tool, click new, then you can copy the whole of your diagram as an image file which you can then use to insert into um, another PowerPoint slide to, as part of a, a larger layout. There you go. Hope that's been useful.